Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. My name is Keisha, and today I wanna to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, we've had, since the last time I talked to you guys, we had some weather uh, come through, and they were saying possible snow, but it didn't turn out that way, it was just rain. And now this is another storm system. We had one yesterday come through and now we got another one coming through, dropping us more rain, which is fine because we need it. I live in Southern California in the high desert. And so usually we're in a drought-like situation so we could use all the water we could get. But I wanted to talk to you guys about these um, containers right here, what I planted in these containers. I planted my potatoes finally. On another video, I talked to you about the Instacrates and where I found them and everything. I'll link that video so you can go back um, and watch that video to get more information about these. But I got my potatoes planted. All I ended up doing was putting some wood chips in the bottom and layering wood chips in the bottom. And then I laid my seed potatoes in deep. So they're about maybe 10 inches deep. And then I topped them with all the leaves and stuff that I have here out in my front yard. I get tons and tons of leaves because everybody's leaves and trash blows into my yard. <laughs> so I make good use of all those leaves though that comes over here. And so I just wanted to show you that I got those planted finally. And then we have been out here doing some work, getting all the weeds picked up and cleared out so that our yard would look a lot better. And we got that done. So now I'm ready to start planting in that long garden bed right here. I'm, start, I'm ready to start planting some stuff and that'll be in an upcoming video of what I plan on planting in there. But everything looks really good. I weeded my flower beds that are lining my walkway here and got all those weeds out. So that all looks great. So there's still a lot of work that I need to do to get ready before spring before it's time for me to plant stuff that I want to get planted out here. So you guys, there's some things I want to show you. Um, in the backyard to catch you up on what's going on in my backyard garden as well so I'll see you in the back so I wanted to give you guys a look back here at the progress that's being made I managed to get all the rest of those leaves up and a lot of those long grasses and so I'm still working on it the weather hasn't been all that great so I can't bring my camera equipment out here in the rain. It's not rain waterproof, so. Also, I wanted to show you guys that uh, all those branches from the oleander trees that was right here, are, they're all gone. I had a tree trimming company come out and pick up all of these branches that was out here. So that's all cleared up. You know, I just noticed my tortoises are out. There's Cornelia. Hi, Cornelia. Look at her. I saw her out the other day and I put some stuff, some food back here for her, but she didn't, she didn't need it. It's still sitting there. I guess she's just trying to get acclimated to the weather maybe. And then look, Thaddeus. Hey, Thaddeus. Hey, Big Daddy. He is out. <laughs> I put food in there for him too, but he didn't eat it. So I'm guessing 
it's still probably a little cold for them during the day. And so, oh, look at he's poking his head out. Hey, Thaddeus. So, they're not as um, motivated, I guess, to eat right now because of the temperatures are still cool. I got my pomegranate tree all trimmed up and ready for the new season. And so I have put these branches over here so the tree guy wouldn't take these because I like to keep these and use these uh, for when I plant stuff, as you saw previously. So anyways, I don't know if you guys remember the um, tree limbs that we took off of this elm tree here that was touching the roof. Well, those big limbs that we cut down all got taken away. And those peach limbs that I had cut off, all of those got taken away. And those other limbs that I got from my neighbor that I had here all got taken away and chipped. And so the tree trimming company, I'll put his um, information in the description box. If you live local to me, I'm in Southern California in the high desert. I'm in Victorville. I personally don't know how far he will go for business, but if you are local to me and um, need some trees trimmed or some um, stumps removed or, or anything that has to do with that, then <laughs> he would be the one to call. He is gonna take all the limbs, all the branches that he picked up from here and he is going to take them to my church where the community garden is and dump all those wood chips there because I've been uh, using wood chips trying to get this uh, community garden set up and I'm really happy for that look at this guy he's never far away from me he follows me whenever I'm out here he follows me around and if I go in the house, he listens to determine what part of the house I'm in so he can run around to that door or window. <laughs> he is something else. He looks really sweet, but he's a little jerk face. <laughs> he's always like trying to trip me and trying to do stuff. Last time he was attacking the camera. Oh, Sonny. Anyways, I want to show you a few more things. All my chickens are hunkered down in this little area right here because they have some protection from the wind that's happening. Um, and so, look at that. <laughs> All of these limbs are gone now. And then look, back here too. And you remember I had a pile of limbs some that I took off of this um, mulberry tree right here that I cut off and some that was from last year from when I trimmed the oleander and some were Christmas trees <laughs> that I had left over from prior Christmases and so all of that is out now so I'm going to take all of these leaves that are down here and around I'm gonna have to get all the trash that the wind blew in here and take all these leaves and pile them up over here on top of this mound here. This mound used to be where I was composting stuff. And so I'm just gonna pile them up on here until I'm ready to use this section. I have one more thing I wanna show you. Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick update on these seedlings that I started before I end this video. Just wanted to show you how everything is growing. It's growing great. Everybody is coming up. <laughs> I gotta find more lights. I can't find more lights of the same type of lights. So, and they're out of stock on the website. So I gotta try and find some lights. But all of these are coming up. And now I'm just waiting for these to make their appearance. These were the last ones that I planted. All of these are tomatoes that I'm showing you. That row, that row, <laughs> that row, 
that row, that row, and then this first one right here. All tomatoes. And then I have all my peppers. This one actually started to pop out some sprouts now too, so that's good. But everything is growing good and including my cuttings that I have in sand over here. Everything is growing good in there too. I just wanted to give you this quick sand update. I hope that you learned something as far as the potato planting and that it might be helpful uh, to you and your garden and the use of sand for starting seeds and cuttings. Hopefully that would be a help to you and the use for your garden as well. Thank you so much for watching and as always, God bless.